Tony, you kill a lot of men today? Yeah, dude, I did. So I use hospital, you know. I'm just telling the world about you guys' stories. Get down, Tony! Tony! You tell him that, dude. How are you gonna tell him I died? Tony died. I'm being sent overseas to report on news from the war. We've only heard rumors of what it's like over there. I wanted to hear what it's like from the men on the front lines. Who are you fighting this war for, boys? I fight this war for America and for my brothers to my left and to my right. Good old Uncle Sam, son. That's who I'm fighting for. You true patriots. I just work for the newspaper. I'm here to tell the story. You ain't telling the story, son. You're living it. Jones, what's it feel like to take another man's life? It's like being a beautiful field of flowers. Something's wrong with you, soldier. I've heard that a lot. I'm fighting for the people. Well, what's it feel? Oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> Jones, any last words you want me to tell the world? He's dead. That's gonna make for a great story. My first encounter with death had me scared. I realize now the danger I'm in. I'm gonna start carrying the gun they gave me. I'm not quite sure how to use this thing. I got a confession. What's your confession? I never even shot this thing. I got news to report. I can't be dying. Hey, son. How are you there, son? Good, I work for the newspaper. Oh, the newspaper. I got a few questions for you. You got a few questions for me? What's the first thing you're gonna do when you get home? When I get home, I'm gonna f my wife real good. I'm gonna eat a real nice steak, some mashed potatoes, a good old sweet tea be nice. That sounds delightful. Okay, okay. So have you killed anyone before? Yeah, yeah. Quite a few. Pri pri private Jeff! What, what are you doing here? Hey, hey, hey. The news is here, sir. The I'm, news is I'm here. trying to tell a story here. Hey, this All is right. This we got a war to win. Yeah, we're talking much. We're talking much. All right. All right. All right. So anyways, what's it feel like to take another man's life? Uh... It ain't something I like. It's something I gotta do, you know, for my country. Okay, one more question. Yeah. How has this war changed you? Uh, I'm pretty f***ing traumatized, man. Oh, okay. Pretty f***ing traumatized. What are you doing, dude? I'm trying to interview this guy. No, 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 we need you to fight in this war right now, dude. We I, need you to pick I, up a weapon. I don't even know how to shoot this thing. They just gave it to me in case. Yeah, well, it's in what, case what time. It's in case time right now. Give it's it in a case. shot. Okay. Let's try and shoot. Let me see. Okay, so. You just, yep. Oh! Yeah, oh! There you go, a little boomstick. <laughs> there you go, just do that. That Let's go. knocked me on my ass. It's yeah. okay, it's okay. These men needed all the help they could get. I never even held a gun until today. How did they expect me to help? I'm just a journalist. Oh, shit. Soldier! They got me, brother. They got me, us. Any last words you want to tell the world? My grundle hurts. Oh, God. I'm out of here. Sorry, <laughs> oh, soldier. Oh, God. That guy died back there. Gosh, I died. Ah! Uh, behind us. You won't be forgotten. Ah! Oh, I killed. Oh, I ground. killed a man. My fear became my reality. I had killed another human today. But I had no choice. I try not to think about it. I'm just gonna continue with my interviews. How's it going? Are you scared of dying? I prefer to get the headshot. Quick and painless. I don't know if you could have an open casket after that though. That's cool, man. Stick me in the barrel if you have to. What? Oh. We should probably run. Come on, Gibbs, come with me, buddy. You don't have to die here. Oh. War drives some men to do strange things. This is not what I expected to see when I took this job. I want to get away from all the death for a bit, so I'm focusing on the men saving lives. The medics. Thank you. A hero in action. Wubs, you're a hero. Thanks, buddy. How many men have you saved today? Too many to count, my friend. You ever think about the men you weren't able to save, Wubs? No, not really. That's good. Don't dwell on it.
Commander. What? I, I know you're a busy guy, but would you have done anything different with your life instead of this? Yeah, I would have joined the army at 17 instead of 20. After we captured the beach, we moved into the city. Hopefully I get a chance to interview a few more soldiers. So who are you fighting this war for? My squad leader. Very disciplined of you. Myself? I got drafted. So you're just trying to make it home? Yep. So what's the first thing you're gonna do when we get back home? Well, uh, try and get into college. Yeah, well I wish you the best. I am home. This is my family. Some men have no interest in talking to me. Captain! Hey. What are you fighting this war for? Or should I say who? You have any plans when you make it back home? Howdy, soldier. I didn't need them to answer. I could see it in their eyes. I'm gonna go bother someone else now. So anyway, what's it like to kill a man? Eh, it's about the same as killing an animal. And so that's something you do regularly? Uh, only when they don't run fast enough across the road. You have any experience killing a man? No, I've just been hunting in my hometown. Oh. And, all right. You've been hunting humans in your hometown? <laughs> no, hunting an animal. Oh yeah, well I guess it translates into war. I guess. Are you scared Smoke of dying? Pan. Yeah. I don't think, I think basically everyone is. Boom! Run! Oh! Run, soldier! Oh my gosh! Oh, soldier! Go on! Go low! Oh sh- I didn't sign up for this! Oh god. I gotta get out of here! Oh! Jesus. I had been wounded and stayed in the hospital for a few months. Now that I'm better, I have one more story to tell. So I'm headed to Hurtkin Forest. I hear there'll be a major battle over there. Jeez, I thought I was gonna miss you. So, who are you boys fighting for? Who let this guy in here? I'm with the newspaper. I'm here to interview you men. The shitty day to interview us. Well, you know, you gotta get your stories out there. I'm taking it in, man. My wife, oh, oh, that's very no, noble. That guy's wife. If, if you're with the paper, right? I'm suffering from trench dick right now. Can you cure trench dick? Try uh, trench dick? Mm. They take anti antibiotics, I think. You What's boys want to hear a joke? From? Yeah, tell us a joke. How much does a chimney cost? Co it costs absolutely nothing. It's on the house. Oh, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep oh. the spirits up. Absolutely, absolutely. All fun and games until we die. Honestly, I think it will still be fun and games when I die. So, are you boys scared of dying? Hell no. Oh, is this our. S well, this came quicker than I thought. The soldier's spirits were up. Even in the worst situation, they still found humor. I want to learn who or what was keeping these men's morale so high during these tough times. So, who are you fighting for back home? My mistress. Your mistress, does your wife know about her? Nah, she's good. Well, this is gonna be published in the in the papers, you know. Good, good, she has to find out eventually. One, who are you fighting for? The love I left back home. What are you gonna do when you get back home? Bang his mistress, I'm assuming? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Don't put words in his mouth. I'll put something else in your mouth. Oh, whoa, hey. Drink whiskey. Try and forget about all this. Yes. Drown myself into a bottle. What do you want to do when you get out of this war, soldier? I want to f*** my wife. Well, you're gonna be able to. We're gonna get out of here alive. I truly believe it. The sad truth is, most of these men won't make it home. I've witnessed it firsthand. Well, are, you, are you scared of dying? No. Yes. Me too. You're not scared of dying, you're lying. Oh, it's like one sec- oh. oh, God! Oh God! Do you have any last words? Yes. Um. Make it quick. He. He. he he's dead. I think I was stepping on that guy's spleen. <laughs> I can't help but feel a little guilty. What's it feel like to lose that much blood? I'm starting to see angels. 
Your face is I buried in the mud. That a stairway is coming down from heaven. Any last word, soldier? I see Jesus. Oh, grenade! Jesus! Oh my! I gotta take a picture of this for the for the newspaper. Oh! I can't. Oh! Wh what's I'm trying. That? I can't. We got two dead soldiers in here. There's no way they're gonna make it. A lot of men keep dying, so I'm looking for the man in charge of this battle. I want to see what he thinks. Is that the commander? That'd be me. How many men have died under your command? About. Oh, Jesus, there's another one. Oh, God. Have you killed a man yet? Oh, tons. No Germans. Lots of, uh, lots of men, though. What's, well, what's that like? Wait, what? And you passed the psychiatric examination? What psychiatric examination? So how many how many folks have you seen die? Enough. You kill any? Not yet. I witnessed men lose their innocence in a day's time. Have you killed an enemy yet? No, sir. They keep me on the back lines. They keep me busy. I pray you don't have to experience it. Later that day I interviewed him again. What's it feel like to kill a man? It feels good. <laughs> You're scaring me, soldier. This war did that. Oh. Don't blame me. You're not the guy I remember. <laughs> this place has changed me. What's it like to kill men, like, with that machine gun? Sorry, I can barely hear you over the gunfire. Why? Nothing. Keep fighting, soldier. You wanna f my sister? That That's not what I said. Okay, I gotta go. That's what he said. While I was trying to conduct an interview, the enemies got close and I was wounded for the second time. Luckily, a French medic was nearby. Get over here, quick. Oh! Ah! Oh. Medic, if you want these stories to get out, s save me. Dr. Boner at your service. Thank you. Is that French? Oh, we. Oh, Husk, you made it. Yeah, somehow. I'm doing a story on this do doctor over here. Hey, how many soldiers have you saved today? Thousands. 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 Easily thousands. That's gonna be a headline. Yep, I do it for the glory. Hey, there's no other reason to do it. Enemies are closing in on our position. It's time to put away this microphone and pick up my rifle. None of my work will matter if I don't make it home. Bastard! I didn't think I'd do this much killing, I won't lie. It really puts a strain on your mental health. You're a cold-blooded killer. Don't remind me. How do you sleep at night? Just like the rest of us. You're a damn reporter and you're killing people. Hey, I had no choice, I'm telling you. They were gonna kill me. I hope we don't wake up in the middle of the night thinking about this. Osk, it was a pleasure meeting you. It was a pleasure serving with you. If you're hearing this, then I must be dead. I came to this war zone to learn what it's like for the soldiers fighting. It turns out I became one myself. I hope you can all learn something from my reports. And most importantly, I'm getting...